Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I am going to prepare a video on how to create the BI report based on the OTBI report. Okay, means I am going to explain you that if you are having already created OTBI report, so we will copy the query which is generated by OTBI report and we will put that query into the data model and based on that query only we will create the data model and the final report which is BIP report okay so I will tell you that practically how to do this okay for that I have to go to my Oracle Fusion instance first so this is my home page of my Oracle Fusion instance so before starting I just want to say is that if you are new on my channel please like share subscribe my channel if you want to learn the Oracle Fusion from start so please go through my fusion playlist it will really help you okay so back to the topic so for achieving our today's concept i have to go to the catalog first so i am going to tools so this is my tools and uh, then after i am just clicking on the report and analysis so it will redirect me on some other page and here is on a browse catalog so i will click on the browse catalog so it will redirect me on the catalog so I am on the catalog page. So I already built one OTBI report in my last video. So we will use that same OTBI report. Okay. So I am going to the location where my OTBI report is stored. So it is in the custom. Then there is a test development and there is a supplier report. So these two supplier reports we had built for our last video. So that same I am using. So here is a supplier detail report. So I'm just editing this supplier detail report. So it will redirect me on the another page where we can build or we can change the existing OTBI report. So this is the result which we will get from that respective supplier report. And I am going to criteria. So these three columns are involved in the report. Okay so what we have to do we have to copy the query okay so how to copy the query so here is an one advanced tab so i have to click on this advanced then after here is an analysis xml so we are having the xml and if i go down here is an sql issued so this sql issued is nothing but the sql query which is generated by the report so what i am doing i am just copying this entire query and pasting on my notepad so what is in this query so here is a setting of the currency preference then after what is there there is an one select statement so select then after we are having the our first parameter that is in a supplier name okay so which is having the alias as s1 then after we are having the supplier number which is having the alias s2 and then after there is a supplier type which is having the s3 then from which analysis we are taking that analysis name is there and then there are some where condition and the order by clause so till this last means till this order by clause just only we have to keep the query this last one line which is from the fetch till the end okay so we have to just remove this line okay so this is my final query which by which we are going to build our data model okay so we got the query now i am going back to my oracle fusion instance so this is my catalog page and here we have to create the data model so as we know that for creating the data model we have to click on this new and then here is a new data model okay so it will redirect us on the new page so if we want to create the data model we just have to click on this plus and here is an sql query then after we have to give some name okay so i am just giving bip underscore two underscore otbi okay so this is my name then after we always choose here fusion db okay so same i am selecting here also then after there is an sql query so what i am doing this time i am just copying this entire query which is on my notepad and pasting in my data model sql query section okay so now i am just clicking on the ok button 
so what it is giving me that is an invalid table name so most of the people will do only this mistake which i was saying earlier so why this error is coming i am just clicking on ok so this table name so they won't found this as a table name okay why because we had selected here the fusion db our our regular practice is selecting the fusion db but when we are creating the bip report using the otbi report then always we have to select oracle biee as the data source okay so this data source we always have to select and then after we have to click on the ok button so this time you can see all the respective parameters are generated okay so this is the main difference okay so my data model is generated but here s0 s1 s2 s3 s4 is coming so what happened so here also we are having this s0 s1 s2 s3 and s4 that's why it is coming like that so we can change that also so how we can change so, so by going to the structure and you can change here xml tags and the display name or just going to the diagram you can edit it and here is s1 s2 s3 so you can change by using this way also so you if you want to change you can do that so i am just explaining the concept to you so that's why i am keeping the same okay so now what we have to do i just have to save this respective data model so i am just saving the data model at shared folder then custom and then my respective folder so i am just giving the name to the report as supplier bip report okay i am copying the name into the description section also and i am just clicking on the ok button so you can see that it is saved now i am just clicking on the data and then after view and then after save as sample data so we will get this message now i want to create the report for this so i am just clicking on the create report button then after this wizard will come so but i don't want to create the report using the wizard so i am just cancelling it i want to create the template using the data model so here is an a uh, browse data model icon so i am just selecting the data model by clicking here so this is my data model that is supplier bip report so i am selecting the same so you can see that the data model is uploaded now i am clicking on the generate so here we have to give the template name so i am just giving the supplier bip template as the name and just i am clicking on the generate button so you can see that my template is generated now we have to save this also so i am giving the name as supplier bip underscore rpt okay and i am copying the same into the description section also and i am just clicking on the ok button so you can see that it is saved now if you want to check the output so we have to click on this view report button so it will load output for us and it will show us so we can see that as per our query we are getting all the respective columns okay so if you want to make any changes like if you don't want to display this as zero so you can remove that from the query okay so that type of any change you can do so in this video we had seen that how to create the bip report using the otbi query okay if you are having any queries you can write into the comment section Please like, share, subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.